Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, let us look into YC Gen 3 upgrade issues. So you know, right, so all our YC Gen 2 instances needs to be upgraded to Gen 3 instance. So that is mandatory step. We cannot skip it. And the deadline that Arkele is saying is December 2023. By the December 2023, we need to complete the upgrade. So I have worked for multiple customers on this upgrade and I have some experience. So I would like to share the issues that we generally faced. Okay. So first thing, OIC SFTP server. So this is not an issue, but if you're not configuring this one, this will become an issue. So what I mean to say is the old SFTP is not being deactivated after the Gen 3 is upgrade is completed. And we're still able to connect to the old SFTP server through third party tools and OIC. I mean, from the new OIC Gen 3 instance also, you can connect to your Gen 3, sorry, Gen 2 SFTP server. And also one more thing I want to mention is these two SFTP servers are working like a mirror. Means the folder, folders and everything is same in Gen 3, in Gen 2. When you place a file in Gen 3 SFTP server, you can immediately see that in Gen 2 SFTP server. You can say like you know, it is like mirroring. Okay, you can connect to any SFTP server. The integrations will are, you know, work as expected. But the best practice is go with a new Gen 3 SFTP servers. We don't know, right? So when they are going to stop supporting Gen 2 SFTP server. So as soon as the upgrade is completed, configure Gen 3 SFTP server. Okay. And then instance ID. In Gen 2, instance ID is unique, you know, numeric value. Means, you know, this is a best example. But in Gen 3, the instance ID is alpha numeric value. This is the example. So if you are using instance ID in your integrations, if you are mapping instance ID in your integrations, you just need to look into this. And then, you know, if that mapping or the third party system is not accepting alphanumeric value, then you need to make code change to, you know, change this alphanumeric value to something else. So, you know, example I can say is, you know, we uh, we used instance ID, you know, generals, general ledgers load for the group identifiers. So for a BDI, Oracle BDI load, we need to, provide a group identifier and that is a unique value. So for that, we have mapped this instance ID. But Oracle is not accepting after you know, upgrade. So in that case, what we have to do is, you know, we have generated a unique ID by the date time and all. So we used current date time and then 2023 and month and date and minutes and seconds if you need. So we can generate that value and then we can map that value to a BDI file. So that worked. So like this, you know, your own solution you need to provide, but you cannot use instance ID for the wherever that is not accepting alpha numeric values. And then processing time in Gen 3. After upgrade, what we observe is, you know, it is not it is not happening for all the integrations, but some integrations it is taking too much time to process the file or the data or to, to complete the transaction. It is taking long time. So best example is for one customer <clears throat> in Gen 2, it used to take uh, 13 to 15 minutes to complete the pro file processing. But after, after upgrade in Gen 3, that took three hours plus time. So for that, you know, we, we, we did go for SR and they made some changes and then that 
is taking now 41 minutes, but still that is a concern. Uh, still Oracle uh, support is working on it. You know, for some issues we can resolve on our own. And for some issues we need to go for Oracle support to help when you are not understanding. Okay. And you know, <clears throat> so for this processing time, the major issues we are seeing at the mapper level. So mappers are taking time to process. Means the XSLT transformations are taking time. The mapper functions are taking time to process the data. Here, I think, you know, Oracle support can help us. I as you know, with my experience, I can say that. But still, you know, we need to work on as for these solutions. And then change in voice instance name after Gen 3. So instance name changed after YC Gen 3 upgrade. So it, it was like, let's say it is, and then you know, it is being added with these values. So name is changing. So that, and for the new name, you can name you know, right? So we need to go to the OCA console and then get the new name. And still, what I can say is after upgrade also, you can still log in with the same URL how, what we are using in the Gen 2. And still URL works for Gen, Gen 3. But the best practice is go with a new URL. And user different functions. User different functions in the sense, you know, when we see out of box features, like you know, when you want to transform data, most of the cases with the dates, we go for the user different functions. User different functions is JavaScript functions. In the JavaScript functions, we used to write some functions and then map them, you know, use them, you know, integration. So that functions are not, work, not working in Gen 3 upgrade. I mean, not all, but sometimes we are facing issues. So for that, what we need to do is we just need to recreate the function or recreate the, uh, you know, that function where we are using it and in integration let's say we are using that function in assign so we just need to remove assign and we are recreate that and then map again so then it is working as expected that means you know the back in the accessibility schemas or the schemas is not being generated correctly after we uh, re-implement that it is working as expected and also you know when you see any issue in gen 3 First thing we need to do is reactivate the integration and test again. Most of this is all going away. And you know, in some sometimes when you find an issue, if you know that okay, this is an issue, then you can resolve it. But in, in some cases, we see everything is perfect. There is no issue. Then you can try this. So reactivate and then test the integration again. And if it is still an issue, then you can go with the next steps. So these are the major issues that we have seen for the multiple customers. And if you are seeing any other issues in your experience, please add in a comment section so that it will be helpful for others and also for me too. Thank you everyone. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.